<laughs> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom Wesley. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, and I'm a candidate for U.S. Congress here in the 2nd District. And I want to thank you all for coming out tonight, because you are responsible for the change that's happening in America today. Now, we talk about the, uh, the Scott Brown phenomenon in January of 2010, but this, this as, a, as a shot first turned around the world, well, the first shot that was fired was fired by Tea Party people back in 2009 a year plus ago, and even before that, as you heard Ryan talk about, because you people said, hey, this much and no more. We are tired of this. If we hadn't had active, aggressive Tea Party people in 2009 and 2010, we would be sitting here now, not only with the health care bill that we have, but a, t a cap and trade, probably uh, amnesty passed in Congress. Who knows what else would have been going on, and an even higher soaring deficit. So thank you. For, for coming out tonight. Thank you for putting your life aside to do this and to tell us uh, that you're behind us. I very much appreciate that. Look, I, uh, I'm an Academy graduate. I graduated from the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy and uh, I'm a Naval officer. I was a Naval pilot. So sometimes it's hard for people to understand uh, what, what that meant. So I, I brought a little training aid here. So if you look, this is a, a Soviet ship recognition guide. All right, <clears throat> so you can see, the, so when I was a pilot, I used to have to recognize these ships uh, or die, right? So we have uh, uh, Kirov class and uh, Moskva class, Kara class, Crested class destroyers, and they are all heavily laden with missiles, surface to surface, surface to air, anti-air ar artillery. And I would have to know which ones uh, could hurt me, at what altitudes, at what bearings, where were they massed? How could I approach this ship and do damage? Know thy enemy. Well. I'm transitioning into a political arena, and I've never been a politician before. I really am a public servant, and I started out being a public servant when I was 18 years old, and uh, did that for a long time, but that's a public service. I also decided that we need to know our enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the access of evil. Uh, now, from a recognition point of view, and, and I know it's unusual, one of the three people here is Richard Neal. Can anyone determine who that person is? <laughs> it almost doesn't really matter, right? Because we got Nancy Pelosi there, and uh, Richard Neal votes in lockstep with her 98.9% .9 of the time. And uh, Charles Brangle, who who is, uh, as we say, ethically challenged, right? <laughs> and actually, Charles Randall is, is uh, actually pro uh, providing an opportunity for Richard Neal to, uh, to even be holding himself more to Nancy Pelosi, if that's even possible. And the reason I say that is because he wants to become the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. But there's two things that he hasn't counted on. One is, come 2010, come November 3rd, they will lose their majority in Congress. And Nancy Pelosi will no longer be the speaker of the house. Right? And come January 3rd, Richard Neal will not be in office any longer. I guarantee you that. Look, I gave my life, uh, I gave my youth to this country uh, when I was younger. And I did it willingly, and for all the effort I gave to the uh, U.S. Navy, the government and the Navy and this country gave me back and repaid me tenfold. And it is my patriotic duty today to run for Congress. I took an oath of office, not once but twice, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And once upon a time, Once upon a time, all the enemies were outside the perimeter, all right? They're always at the other pointy end of the sword. But now, today, because of this axis of evil over here, I've got to treat them like the Soviet Navy. The, uh, the guardians, the, the centurions are inside the gate. They're giving away our liberty, they're giving away our freedom, and it is time for us to take our country back. Yeah. And that's what we intend to do. So let me describe to you what a grassroots effort is. A grassroots effort is, is like what you're looking at right now. It is time for us to put aside what we're comfortable doing. It is time to, to fight every single day for what you grew up believing in, which is the United States of America 
and our constitutional freedoms and the opportunities that you had growing up that you want to pass along to your children and to their children to make the 21st century an American century. And what that means is, and you can, you can choose any candidate you like, but we need volunteers to get the word out. We need volunteers to man the phones, volunteers to knock on doors, volunteers to, to put literature in people's mailboxes, volunteers to recruit other volunteers to say there is a better way. Shame on us that we haven't had a candidate to run against Richard Neal in more than 12 years. Shame on us, but we're not going to do it again. We've got classy candidates with good background, and we're going to take Richard Neal down. We're going to repeal Richard Neal in 2010. So we are here. Uh, we'll be taking questions, and I'll, I'll, I'll curtail my speech right now. But thank you for coming out here, because this is democracy in action. If anybody around the world, and I've traveled around this world, and I've been to countries that are that are don't have a tenth of the freedom that we have. This is what people fight for in other countries. And this is what we have taken for granted in this country. No more. Thank you, and God bless America.